This is our 2016 F350 single rear wheel, one key. I'll show you the cold start all around the truck, underneath everything. <clears throat> okay. Appears to be missing the tire sensors, or one of them's dead. You're gonna notice in the video, like lights flashing, such as it's it's an LED thing. It's not the lights itself. It's the frame rate of the video. They aren't actually flashing. They're all solid. But you know, so you can how it changes with the different angles. So it's the video, it's not the truck. It's got a backup camera. <coughs> All right, now I'm gonna show you under the hood. Uh, undercarriage, everything. This truck has all emissions, equipment, pack, and original. When it came in, we actually replaced the uh, DPF heater. That was the only thing this truck needed. Uh, it needs a car wash right now because it's been in two weeks. But that's all. This was a local trade in truck, very nice one. Very clean for its miles. And uh, pretty much the entire body, minus one part I'll show you, is in great shape. Uh, it's got great tires, good tread all around. You can see we just have a gravel lot, so it's hard to keep things clean, especially a black truck. It's a spider web. This is the only main body um, defect is the rear quarter panel just pushed in, you know, just from basic work stuff, probably bumped it with something, who knows. It's nothing that affects anything functionally. The door opens and closes. The body lines are straight up until you get down here. They just may be turning into a pylon or something like that. One of those things that if you took it to a body shop, they'd probably charge you $700 to fix it, but uh, not a major concern.
the F-350 difference is just a much heavier towing capacity than a 250. Other than that, they're pretty much identical. They can just tow a lot more with the heavier uh, setup. But you can kind of see the towing statistics for the bumper pull right here. Uh, lumbar support, uh, manual recline, decline. <clears throat> this truck has no programmer of any kind. Uh, it has a built-in trailer brake controller, so it does not need an aftermarket one. It's got a exhaust brake. Is it every step from far? I'm gonna do the AC. AC is like instantly cold. I'm gonna do the heat. Actually, that is the heat. Now it's even colder. So, AC is nice and cold. We're gonna do the heat. Uh, heat is like instantly hot. built up and drive <laughs> turbo's good um, it does have the in and out mirrors but you can see they go out come in they fold That's it. 